Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another TV show reaction and commentary. We just came fresh off of episode five of season three, Fargo, and now we're going to be hopping into episode six. Episode five was the degradation. It was absolute <laughs> chaos in terms of people just getting crapped on, just like literally just, just showcasing who's top dog and who's underdog. And... That's kind of the way of the land here in Fargo. You know, it's either you get pushed aside or you adapt and become just, you know, the entity you always were. And we saw to a high end on the other one. As much as I loved, um, I'm forgetting her name's uh, performance and just the past couple of episodes and she's been showing such a wonderful case of gaslighting, you know, her and her cat-like self. Yeah, she got beat the heck up, man. She. <laughs> She got beat the heck up. Someone has to do something about these bodyguards, these two goons, because I don't know. Maybe maybe the, the bodyguards from the first season, I believe it was the first season, right? Where it was like the two bodyguards, they were the deaf one, right? And were there bodyguards in the second season? Who knows? But yeah, I'm wondering if I'm actually even going to see a reference to the prior seasons. I probably have. I probably just either missed them, but... Uh, I'm more so talking about characters. I would love to start seeing maybe a character or two here and there. I kind of miss having that link together, but you know, again, they don't have to do that. This could just be its own standalone thing, which every season has been, by the way. So I'm excited to dive deeper into it. Like I said, episode six, we're gonna hop into this. But like always, guys, if you want more and you would like to, you know, have more than one episode a week, definitely check out the Patreon. You can also support the channel by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And again, y'all, at the end of the day, just sit back, relax, and get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into Fargo season three, episode six. A, a Russian and some some kind of oriental. I gotta hand it to her, man. She took that beating and is still breathing. We gonna do moment of truth. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Hopefully not that. <laughs> Hopefully you don't have that happen to you again. You ready? Oh, you betcha. <laughs> Yo, they are ready to go right back out. That's insane. That's insane. No rest. Just going after, ready to go guns blazing. A 150-year-old bank with $60 billion in assets collapses overnight. Perception of reality becomes reality. Perception of reality becomes reality. One last story, also true. Two men from the planet Earth. That's one small step for man. Damn. I mean, that's one way to do that. Oh, man. <laughs> that's not... That never happened. Let each man say what he deems truth, and let truth itself be oh commended God. unto God. Oh, my God. It's funny because, like, Limited. Every Don't time the show starts, that font that comes up, it's doing the same thing. We don't know what's true or not. I assure you, the IRS could not unravel an intricate web of shell companies and loan outs with secret accounts in Monaco, Luxembourg. Golly, man. This dude is a, a force to be reckoned with because he understands his opponents. Like, that's... How are we he always has the high ground. He's already done. I'm even seated in the old hundred. Mostly because he's very tall. <laughs> this dude, man. <laughs> this dude. Oh, man. No way. <laughs> okay. That's 
That's funny. Section 41C of the U.S. Tax Code affords my client the right to license representation in the face of any IRS inquiry. Until that time, we demand you vacate our offices. <laughs> Yo, you know how crazy <laughs> this dude. <laughs> This dude dressed up as this guy had every <laughs> yo. <laughs> what games is this dude playing, man? Third fella. No. <laughs> Baby, trust me. He's ready to ice him. I want payback, maybe even more than you. But we gotta wait. I don't want to wait. I want payback now. <laughs> Damn it. All right. I just knew it was going to be some nasty ish with this dude. What is his problem? What is your problem, my guy? He's like, "Damn, you really look the same." <laughs> You guys really are twins. My team? Yes, sir. And we thought it curious, the house being targeted and searched as it was, that he shared the same last name as you and your brother. The same first initial. Lived in towns with similar... Uh, I think he's putting it together. He's probably like, yo. I was about to get robbed. All this sounds like mere surmise. Two brothers, a traffic skirmish, a dead man in another county. Mere All named Stessy. You see, in 1932, there were, uh, what, 24 Hitlers in the German phone book. Now, are you suggesting that they were all responsible for the final solution? That's such a petty, that's such a petty analogy. Oh, my goodness, man. <laughs> You're saying my brother was trying to rob me. All right, all right, look. He's piecing it together. He's piecing it together. Find any details I am happy to see all the characters like we'll talking with one another. I'm really happy about that. If you think of anything, <laughs> yo, that dude snagged it. Snagged it. Ah, it's because she doesn't use the internet. Yo, this thing is gonna save her life. But I just hope that none of her relatives are using the internet. Yo, know, this dude. This dude, man. Oh my god. <laughs> this is great leaders. Just has a whole freaking elementary school poster, a freaking Stalin right next to him. Incredible. Gotta love that motivation. I want you to find the brother, this Ray character, and his bitch. Execute. Damn. Wow. Gave the green light to execution. Damn. And these two are just itching to kill somebody. That's like the fifth time I've seen him cock a gun. Like, what the heck? Oh boy. Now you done You done dipped the cops, but now you got these dudes after you. Alright. Oh no, I feel like a body is gonna be caught in this episode. I feel it. I feel a body about to get caught. I uh used my last twenty for the room. So Well about the sack from the bank. Stole a few thousand in that, right? Ray. Tell me you brought the getaway money. Oh, dog. No way. It, it happened so fast. No Great. way. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks so badly. Of course he's not there anymore. Of course. Of course. This dude wants to be freaking... Um, I forgot his name. But the, the guy from... I think the second season. He wants to be him so badly. You win. Whatever you want. Just tell me. Damn, that's crazy. He's I just chilling in this. Did you think I don't have a key? 
<laughs> Go sign the mortgage. Damn. Well, <laughs> when did I not help you, kid? Go sign in the mortgage. Repairs for the car. I'm not less than you. Some child that needs. Ray. Come on. Yeah, none of that's gonna work here. <laughs> yeah, none of that's gonna work here. The the field has now escalated. So I wonder what's really happening here. Is it finished? Okay. Words said in anger. Crimes committed. We've both done things. I'm giving you the stamp. You can't give me what was mine from the start. <sighs> He's like, dude, whatever, man. Whatever, bro. I don't want it. Take the damn stamp. S stop. Take it. Stop. <sighs> uh, dude, what? What? Don't. What? What? <laughs> what? Yeah, come on. Come on. All right. Ah, all right. <laughs> I did say I felt like a body was about to be caught. I just didn't think it was going to be his. If I can be honest, I thought it was going to be the... The hitman that was after him. That's crazy. I was not expecting that. Raymond? I also don't know how to feel about that. I'm kind of, uh, kind of disappointed. <laughs> that was disappointing. I don't know what that, what, like, how did that even happen? How did that even happen? Like, I've seen it happen, but how did the glass get in his throat? Just with that. And he just killed his brother, by the way. Where are you, Mr. Stasi? This been an accident. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Damn. I love that the music is just going crazy right now with his reaction. Yeah, he totally just killed his brother by accident, honestly. I don't know. Ever since I saw No Country for Old Men, I've been very, very, like, weary of, like, motels or anything like that. Looking over the shoulder, hell nah. Even answering the door, nope. Damn, man. I'm really, like, taking it back from that. I hope that the consequences from this kind of make up for that. But, yeah, first first reaction to that, I am kind of sad Ray's gone. You know, I kind of liked Ray. <laughs> Your brother was killed by his ex-convict girlfriend. Damn, knew he was going to go that route. Knew it. It's so. It was so easy to go down that route. It was. Damn it. That's such a shame. I didn't mean to. No one ever does. Yeah, I'm like, why are you over here trying to get sympathy from this dude? This dude's heart is black like licorice. He does not care. Yeah, I'm trying to get a message to Officer Lopez. Tell her I'm heading back to the PO's domicile. Have her meet me there. Okay. All right. And that is the end to episode six, Fargo. All right, everybody. We just got done episode six, season three of Fargo. R.I.P. Ray. <laughs> I knew that a body was going to get caught this episode. I just had a feeling. I just, I genuinely didn't expect it to be Ray. And I also genuinely didn't expect it to be in that way. Um, bars. But yeah, uh, I, I, listen, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I was a little bit disappointed by that. I was a little bit disappointed. I know Fargo is known for uh, the killing and the freak accidents and, uh, <laughs> and how things just happen, right? That's the literal theme of Fargo, but, um, I don't know. I, it's hard to believe that, you know, the situation 
Oh, that ha I I would have found the outcome of if he had taken that or if he was still alive and they were able to continue going down their paths despite, you know, that meeting. You know, I, I guess I would have been more interested in that rather than what happened here, which was Ray giving him back the stamp, which I understand, you know, it's because he's... You know, he, he can't accept the fact. He can't just take a win and go. Um, but I would have just have thought that his resolve would have been a little bit more concrete, especially with his wife, now wife or fiance, getting beaten up, getting absolutely jumped and being at a motel by herself, right? So I guess like for me, I just didn't think that was the character's way of uh, going through that situation it just kind of caught me off guard but then like it just caught me way off guard seeing a piece of glass in his in his neck i just it's hard for me to understand that because it smacked him in the face the glass broke because it hit his like his head so how did the glass have enough velocity to even get lodged in his throat I don't know. I don't know. Also, why would you take a piece of glass out of your throat? That's just me. So I don't know. I, I liked everything else, really. I love the filmmaking. I love how the story is being conveyed. I love the conversations. I love the diabolicalness of all the characters. But I will say, I'm not going to lie to y'all, that moment was a little disappointing. I feel like they could have really, really hit a note with this one. Um, it just didn't really hit with me on that. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. Uh, can, I would love to, you know, if it worked for you, tell me why. And if it didn't, just like for me, uh, I would love to hear your reasons behind that too. So like always, guys, let me know in the comments below. Stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches cause they give them free Just like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat